I'm standing in a newly renovated 120 square meter home that was built in 1948. Coming up, we'll show you the original house. We'll talk about our renovation scope and changes we have made to the plan. And stick around to the end of the video where we'll show you the finished product. Let me introduce you to the project. This is part of a three lot subdivision we're doing here in Central Upper Hutt, as well as keeping the existing house we're building two new builds over there in the old front yard. We had to demolish a garage. And we've moved the existing house's driveway to that side of the section. Building the two new houses meant that we changed where we got in and out of the house. And by moving the front door to be more in line with where the cars are parking now, we were able to reclaim some space. It's a three bedroom home and it had a number of living areas. You've got dining room there, sunken lounge over there, and room for a couch in front of a fireplace. It's got two bathrooms, and so we had a great footprint to work with. One of the things I noticed about this house when we first took on this project was that it had this really nice kitchen. It was recently completed before we took over. Looks great. No need to change that. It did have a conservatory over there and it was looking pretty old and tired and damp. So we decided to get rid of the old conservatory, replace those doors with some beautiful new French doors that open up onto a north facing deck, soaks up the sun all day. It had a really pokey cupboard over there and then a laundry that you had to access from the back. The pokey cupboard was an infill wool, we got rid of that. It's kind of like a laundry slash scullery. Huge big storage area off the kitchen. A nice big bench and washer would go in there, dryer can go on the wall. So we didn't want to do a full gut renovation, we just wanted to use what was there. Even the bathroom was split up, it had a really tiny loo and a really tiny shower over bath. We've kept the shower over bath but we've removed the wall between the two. That's meant that it feels a lot more roomier. As well as adding more space to this home, we're also trying to add more subscribers. Go ahead, click subscribe, lift our count. There was a doorway here and there was a doorway here and there was a petition wall here. The key here is that we haven't touched any of the external walls, we haven't moved them, we haven't touched the roof line, and that's really key to keeping a renovation on budget. Really, it's more of a refresh than a renovation. We were able to reclaim some space for a little study nook or extra storage, just trying to make as many multi-use spaces as possible. This was the original front door. Uh, you could put shelving there, it could be storage. So we've put down new vinyl, new carpet, we've given it fresh paint, we've gone around and placed a bunch of light fittings, we've got a new meter board, just given it a new refresh and brought it into the 21st century. Two kids bedrooms either side, fireplace, cranks in winter, Sunken lounge, room for a TV on the wall. As well as building the decks outside, we've put down a new lawn area, new gardens, and then we've used the old front porch as a garden shed, just using some dead space really well. Then we got this lawn hydro seeded, that's growing up, it looks really lush. 
Completing the landscaping outside really makes it a total package and you could move in and happily live here. Low maintenance, everything you need, nothing more. Huge makeover on this and we're about to film a real estate video and it's getting listed this week. Mm -hmm.